I'll display what Mama T is gonna do to your balls. To mine? To your well, balls. Maybe. Stop fucking around with Fantana. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Mama T is gonna do to your shit. This is Zari, the most incredible baby mama of all time from Africa. This is Fantana, the dumbest guest on the show that doesn't know Malawi and where it is. In London, I'm supposed to go to Malawi. Ew. Wait, where, where is that? Where is Malawi? And this is Diamond Platinums, apparently the guy that is causing an altercation between Zari and Fantana. Hi there, I'm Mr. Tweene and today we are diving into the episode 9 of Netflix's Young, Famous and African, a show that is about young media stars who work, play, flirt and feud in Johannesburg. Spoilers ahead, let's jump into it! The episode kicks off with a fiery fight between Zari and Fantana which ended the previous episode. It it was an absolute mess and even Nadia Nakai tried to intervene. Things got so intense that she suggested banning Diamond Platinums because he seems to be the root cause of this fight. That you both need to fucking burn Diamond. Kanyimba, determined to solve this once and for all, decided to bring Fantana, Zari and Diamond together for a face-to-face -face discussion. I think I need to call them all together. For lunch, Fontana, Diamond, and Zari. And yes, it's going to be embarrassing and it's going to be confrontational, but it needs to be done. Someone needs to do it. Meanwhile, Louis Munana and Naked DJ pay a visit to Diamond Platinums so to confront just, him about the whole Zari versus Fontana situation. Naked DJ directly accuses Diamond for enabling Fontana to disrespect Zari, claiming he said some derogatory words about Zari. I thought that you guys only kissed. What do you mean again? A kiss is a kiss. Am I the one who gave but Fontana power to do that? I think, so, no, 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 I think, think there's more. Something to it. No, uh, uh, not even cool. said, I think yeah. there's more to this shit. Because if you just kiss a woman, she yeah. won't go to the mother of your kids and no, start causing wanna, shit. She called Zari a fake ass bitch. However, Diamond denies it all, insisting that they've only kissed. He even goes ahead to show them where both him and Fantana kissed from, mentioning that they have a so-called memorandum of understanding. We understand each other. That's what we have. Did you make that clear to Fantana? Yeah, we were there. We were sitting there. See, there's that coach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's where I kiss Fantana. You see there? Why? The tension rises as everyone wants to know the truth about what was said. The discussion takes an unexpected turn when Naked DJ grabs a bunch of grapes, symbolizing what he thinks will happen to Diamond's reputation. What Zari would do to Diamond. You are avoiding telling us the truth. I'll display what Mama T is gonna do to your balls. To mine? To your well, balls. Please. Stop fucking around with Fantana. <laughs> this is what Mama T is gonna do to your shit. See that shit? Yeah. <laughs> but Diamond remains evasive, deflecting the conversation to naked DJ's own romantic endeavors. It's clear that he doesn't want to take responsibility or be held accountable for anything. We come to a pivotal scene where Kanyimbao brings Zari, Fantana and Diamond together for a confrontation. Fantana is already on set and aware that Zari is coming. And meanwhile, Zari has invited backup security that is swanky just in case things get out of hand. As they begin to talk, it becomes a heated argument between Fantana and Zari. Fantana insists she wants nothing to do with Zari, no friendship and no interaction whatsoever. Because I don't want a friendship with Zari at all. Diamond finally joins the group, but instead of addressing the issue, this guy feigns ignorance. How you guys been? I mean, we are here today because of you, literally. Yeah, I'm back, so it's good to see you guys. He doesn't know why he's here. Sorry, what? Zari, who seeks clarity, wants Zari to know if their man really said what Fontana claims he did. She just wants to identify the source of the problem. Is it Diamond or Fontana? We're having a back and forth exchange, mm. and she says, there's a whole lot of things that Diamond told me about you that if I told you, you would get a strong. I'm not fighting, I There's want no clarity. It becomes evident that Fantana tries to backtrack on some of her earlier statements when Swanky explains certain rumors. The first time that I started hearing about the rumors about you and Fantana, 
What room is what The rumors that y'all put together or the stuff that y'all created? No, we didn't create that. She interjects, referring to rumors they supposedly created, which is not true. The tension escalates and Kanyimbao intervenes, urging both Fantana and Zari to apologize to each other. However, Fantana defiantly refuses to apologize, even throwing insults at Zari, which prompts Diamond to leave the scene. Men will leave you in the desert without water. Yeah. Next, Zari decides to take the kids to meet Diamond. She clarifies that she has come for a fight with Diamond. The two discuss the ongoing talked about. I don't want to know. Diamond reveals his upcoming trip to Paris for a recording, and Zari expresses her pride in his achievement. It is clear why I believe Zari is the coolest baby mama in the world. Before leaving for Paris, Diamond decides to have a conversation with Fantana to clear the air. It clearly looks that she doesn't want to appear biased towards either Zari or Fantana. And although Fantana claims she won't let him distract her, she ends up getting drawn into the conversation. Diamond shares details about his trip, and that's when we discover that Fantana doesn't even know where Malawi is located. Which is quite surprising. Like, uh, yeah, I'm going to Paris, then from Paris I go to London. And London I'm supposed to go to Malawi. Ew. Where is Paris then? Where is Malawi? Malawi is in Africa. Oh, it's in East Africa. What if I have fans in Malawi? I don't know. No, you have no fans in Malawi because we this girl know. That wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed this recap. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.